and that those are some of the things that we really um us at thrive and national and I, we really yeah i mean that's what we really that's the part that just energizes us is to be able to say i'm a fixer i just yes. want to fix it and and be able to talk to somebody and make sure that they're totally you know at peace with what they're wanting to do and right the strategies there Hi. Hi everyone, Lori Anderson, Ashlyn Kelso, and we are your local Thrive Mortgage Lenders. Yes, so Ashlyn, um, we're you know in a little bit of a tougher market and uh, it's very important for borrowers, sellers, and lenders and agents and everybody to sit down and have strategy mm -hmm. um, to talk about, you know, is the home, is it a right home, is it the right time, what can we do? So talk about how you strategize with your borrowers and how you you know, I have a strategy call with them. Mm -hmm. I gather the information, review everything, and then I like to have it, let's have our strategy call. Right. I, let's have a strategy call, and I spend, you know, 30 minutes sometimes, and we'll review credit, we'll review income, we'll review debt, we'll review assets, we'll, and, and I, if they want to, we're, I'm sharing screens and sharing that, mm -hmm. and I've done a, a mortgage coach, but I really like to have a strategy call with them because it just makes them feel better it makes the agents feel better and even they have a say in, they have a say in their loan like what we're doing you know a lot of times they apply and all they're thinking about is what is my down payment mm -hmm. what's my monthly payment what's my interest rate but there's so much more to it and and last week on our on our reel we talked about deals falling through because the lender's not doing a good enough due diligence and so i kind of thought this week might be good uh, for the borrower's perspective the buyer's perspective what is it that we're doing to make sure that they're mm -hmm. ready and they are have their questions answered. Mm -hmm. So it's going through the credit report, sending mm -hmm. them maybe what's on their credit report, showing them, you know, here's your minimum monthly payments, here's your balance, because credit reports, you know, they may update every 30 days. So when we pull credit, somebody may have a $500 a month minimum payment on their credit report when they're like, oh, I pay that off every month. Mm -hmm. Well, if that's the case, let's get an updated statement and not have to hit you for a $500 a month payment that you're actually paying off every month. month. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things there um, which goes back to us, you know, having those conversations with them about the credit, about the income. You know, mm -hmm. what is this other income on your pay stub? Is it something that we can use? You may have only had commission at this job for six months, but at your prior job, you had it for two years. Mm -hmm. Did you know that we can average those even if they're different jobs with the same line of work? A lot of people think same job has to be same job for two years to be able to use bonus or commission. So there's all these things that we can talk about and strategize with them to make sure that they're getting approved for the amount that they want, but on the other hand, that they can see what we're, you know, what we're doing to get them there. And you're right. I mean, think about it, because when you're, you know, a buyer, you're thinking, okay, how much cash do I need? Mm -hmm. What's my interest rate and what's my payment? Mm -hmm. But there is so much more that we, you know, that we discuss with the, the buyer to be able to make sure that they kind of understand and it positions them for the best rate, the mm -hmm. best product, the best strategy yes. when they're trying to do that. And and so that's where I guess I'm wanting to hopefully in this this week's video is to share with y'all what we're doing yeah. to make sure that we're good and making sure that under everybody kind of feels good when they're making those offers. So I have a good example of that that we did this week. So I have a buyer that they're selling their house. They're going to make enough probably to put about 10 to 15 percent down. So when I looked at her credit report, I noticed that she has an installment loan um, as a personal loan she took out for ten thousand dollars. She owes six thousand dollars. That payment for her, that minimum monthly payment is $700 a month. So I said, instead of taking that $6,000 and, you know, like putting that on down payment, let's take $6,000 when we go to closing and let's pay off that because you're going to get a lot of more bang for your buck mm -hmm. paying off this installment loan that has a $700 a month balance. So it's things like that where I'm like, let's put maybe less down right now. You know, let's do 5% down right now and let's pay off some of this debt that's going to alleviate, you know, 600 plus. I think there was another six, 700 almost $1,000 a month she with the rest of that. And so for them, they're actually going to end up ahead at this point with their total monthly expenses just by strategizing less down payment, more towards paying off some of that debt at closing. So which we can do at that, at that closing once their house sells, they bring their down payment and we can do all the payoff at closing. 
So, and that, those are some of the things that we really, um, us at Thrive and Ashland, and I, we really, yeah, I mean, that's what we really, that's the part that just energizes us is to be able to say, I'm a fixer. I just yes. want to fix it and, and be able to talk to somebody and make sure that they're totally, you know, at peace with what they're wanting to do and their right. strategies there. Well, and here's the deal right now. The inter interest rates are higher than we've seen the last few years. Mm -hmm. There's no getting around that. So why not right now? Put less down on the mortgage because whether it's seven percent or six and a half percent, it's not making a significant difference right now in their monthly payment. So let's help people get out of debt a little bit, maybe because we know mm -hmm. that when interest rates drop again, you know those home values are going to go up. You know we talk about supply and demand, so you're going to have some equity in that home. So let's once we refinance, we can get you into that lower monthly payment. But at least you know over this, these next yes. you know couple years, let's get rid of some of that debt. You know that makes a bigger yeah. impact. Yeah. So. Hub. That's our tip for the week, and uh, we hope y'all give us a call. Yes, see you next Friday. Thank you.